welcome to Biosumit and welcome to the new video of chromatography series. Today we learn about size exclusion chromatography. So the name suggests that it will separate molecule on the basis of size and shapes. Okay. So it is a non-binding based method, right? So earlier in my previous videos, you can check in the description box that is affinity chromatography. In affinity chromatography, that was a binding based method, right? like the antigen is binding with antibody okay or nickel is binding with the histidine part of the protein so here no binding will occur it's a non-binding okay and it it is allowing the separation of macromolecules with differences in molecular size and shape in some conditions okay now here a column matrix filled with porous gel bits uh, you can see the column matrix with porous gel bits like this is a column matrix and there are the bits okay gel bits it can be made up of uh, 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 made up of some polyacrylamide okay or dextran or agarose etc and these pores okay these pores will be the stationary phase now let me tell you the pores means let's say this is the bead now this is not the bead uh, I am drawing the bead in this box okay now this is the bead here you are seeing in uh, in round phase okay now if you are zooming it it can be like this so there are some pores right here 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 you can see these are the pouring regions so this can be the stationary phase now before moving to the diagram we have to know that size exclusion chromatography can be two types one is gel permeation and another is gel filtration now often you will look that often size exclusion chromatography means the gel filtration chromatography because mainly gel filtration is used that's why it's often uh, gel filtration and size exclusion are used as synonym for this type of chromatography okay but gel filtration chromatography is a type of size exclusion chromatography and another type is gel permeation there is nothing is different like in gel permeation there will be organic mobile solvent and in case of gel filtration there will be aqueous mobile solvent to characterize and to separate to separate the molecules on the basis of size and shape so let's come to the diagram this is the main part okay now this is a column column matrix with the beads and i have told you the beads have pores in it right and that is the stationary phase now we are putting the sample which will be the mobile phase right so let's say these are some samples and in the red some small size samples okay I don't know you are getting it or not okay and the blues will be the bigger size so here we are having two types of uh, different things in this mobile phase one is very in big size that is a blue color here you can see and the red color is in small size so the basis is very simple okay let's say uh, it will as we know that it will separate the molecule on the basis of size and shape so what will happen molecules that the molecules uh, that uh, the smaller molecules okay that will trapped in the pores like the red ones let's see here it will be trapped in the pores right and the bigger ones it can't be attached or inserted 
in the ports because they are bigger zone they have no space to enter the ports okay so what will happen the larger molecules this is the blue one with elute with elute faster because they will move fast so elute fast now since the smaller molecules can enter the pores okay that present in the pH this is the pH and the smaller molecules are in the pores everywhere but in the pores too not the larger molecules so smaller molecules will be in the pores so it will take more time to be eluted right so here you can see that larger molecules are separated in the next step with that with some more time we can have the smaller molecules okay so let's recap the thing once again so a mixture of protein is applied to a column okay now they need to be washed with an appropriate buffer uh, it, it's some uh, common criteria of any chromatographies okay so what will be happen next the first proteins to emerge from the column will be the larger size uh, will be the proteins that will have larger size and shape right because they can't enter the pores of the jelly beads because they are too small to accommodate them now the other proteins are eluted in decreasing order of their molecular size let's say we are talking about two types of uh, proteins here two types means two types of sizes shapes or sizes here can be many more sizes right so some uh, uh, first will uh, the larger the largest one will be first to be eluted right then the next then the next with the molecular side so the more the size of the protein the more will be its the more it will it will elute first right faster so the molecular mass of the smallest molecule remember this thing the molecular mass of the smallest molecule unable to penetrate the pores of a given gel okay uh, i'm sorry i'm uh, actually the molecular mass of the large largest molecule that can't be uh, accommodated in this pores okay now the smallest molecule which can't be accommodated in that given pore that can be the exclusion limit or gel's exclusion limit okay the smallest molecule unable to penetrate the pore so this is the idea of size exclusion chromatography so what is that it will separate the molecule on the basis of size and shape the bigger one will elute first and the smaller one will elute late and thus we can have the different proteins in different times right it can be two types gel permeation gel filtration and what is gel exclusion limit that is the smallest molecule will be unable to penetrate the pores that will be a gel's exclusion limit hope you have understood the size exclusion chromatography and its types see you later and in the next video thank you